Hi, this is Tara of GirlGoneHealthy.com and welcome to the launch of Silencing the Fat Girl Inside. I'm so excited to embark and share on this new journey with you guys and I'm nervous and i um, hoping that this will not only help me but help some of you out there that are struggling with the same things as well. So for those of you who are not familiar with GirlGoneHealthy.com, um, let me just give you a little backstory. story. Um, GirlGoneHealthy.com is my website that I started in the summer of 2009, uh, and I started it a little while after I had finished my 100-pound weight loss, which took place in December of 2008 to December 2009. And it basically um, was just a, an outlet for me to go and write about um, daily food, recipes, workouts, you know, typical, just typical weight loss um, fitness blog. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty much just like everybody else's um, healthy blog, uh, but it, it wasn't started with that intention. It was started out as a diary for me, and then all of a sudden there were comments and followers, and it sort of just took off, and it's been, um, it's been really great. It's provided um, so many different opportunities and allowed me to um, meet some really great people, and I've, uh, some of you have been with me from day one, and um, you've sent me Christmas cards and birth announcements, and as my husband says, oh my gosh, they have our address, and, um, and I think it's great, and I love it, and, um, you wear t-shirts that say, girl gone healthy, remember, <laughs> that's so cool, I, I can remember doing that, and, and you've supported my son in fundraisers, and, and I love it, and, and I'm so thankful for those of you who have been with me from day one, and, I'm so happy for those of you that have stuck around and, and you're here for this new little journey that we're about to um, sort of skate out on and see if it's going to work because now Girl Gone Healthy has entered into a new part of my weight loss journey that's um, pretty pretty scary and it's it's new territory and if, if you would have told me that... Um, you know, losing the 100 pounds was going to be the easy part, I probably would have laughed, um, but it was. Losing 100 pounds was really easy compared to these last few years, um, and that's what this series is going to touch on. It's going to touch on what happens on the inside and how um, that affects us and how um, the number on the scale really um, is harmful. That number really can make or break you, and you can sit and say that it's just a number and so on and so forth, but for so, so, so many of us, it is detrimental. And I believe that the more of us that come out and talk about um, how it's impacting us and how we are obsessive about it, I believe that as as a networking team that we can we can beat it we can be stronger than that number that we can support each other and that we can move forward um so that's what i'm hoping this series is going to do is that by me logging on and chit-chatting each week about a new topic about what the fat girl inside of me um you know what she <laughs> what she causes what grief she causes me i'm hoping um you know th that that can that can help you and that that will help quiet down your fat girl and i'm hoping that you guys share with me you know what your what grief your your inner fat girl causes you and that we can together help quiet your fat girl down as well so um uh Today I, I do want to go ahead and I want to I want to move forward um, guns blazing and I, I want to share with you guys something that's really difficult for me to admit and talk about and it's very emotional for me and I'm already getting emotional and um, I just want to get it out of the way and um, I am obsessed with weighing myself. I am 100% obsessed with the number that's on the scale. 
I have two scales in my house, and I'm not saying that like, oh, I have two scales in my house, um, you know, like they're really expensive scales. My husband says that when I say that, it makes it sound silly, like we're rich or something, like, oh, we have two scales in our house. Like, I have two scales in my house for the purpose that one's in the bathroom and one's in my bedroom, and um, if one scale doesn't show me a number that makes me happy, I go get on the other scale. And yes, that makes me a hypocrite because I do post on Girl Gone Healthy and on Facebook that the scale doesn't define who you are, etc., etc. I don't need to go into detail because you all read my post. And um, most of the time, I would say about 85% of the time, most of the posts that I'm posting aren't just for you guys, they're for me to read too. Um, because it's always going to be a struggle for me. Uh, my whole life I have struggled with my weight. I've been up and down and back and forth and yeah, it's, it's tough. And um, the number that I see can make or break my day. And if it breaks my day, it actually affects my whole house. As crazy as it is, um, it can actually, it can actually affect my relationship with my family. Because I feel like if that number is a fat number, that that everybody is going to to see me the way that I see me in the mirror, which is huge and puffy, and bloated, and um, the way that you look, uh, looks command a first impression, and you're judged the way that you look, and, and we know this as a society, and as being a, mo a mom to a child with special needs, um, it's super, super important to me that when I'm dropping Zachary off at school, or I'm representing him at a meeting that I get the respect that I feel that Zachary deserves. That when I walk into that meeting or I walk into the school that they know that I am confident. That I know what I'm talking about. That I'm not just going to sit there and, and say, oh, okay, you know, you know, that I deserve respect that I have confidence and sometimes when you don't feel so great about yourself and you feel like your clothes don't fit and you're not having a great hair day and so on and so forth and your posture's off it you know you don't hold yourself well then people don't respect you and you know it it shows um and that's such a, a big a big part of my day and it's also a big part of my job when I walk into you know, when I'm on site with a client, it's very important that when I walk in that, you know, I, I, I have that way about me. And if I'm having a day where I don't feel comfortable in my clothes, it just, and I'm definitely one of those people that I wear everything on my face. And I always have from the time I was a child. If I'm mad, you know it. If I'm sad, you know it. If I'm happy, you know it. And that, it sucks, personally. It sucks. I'm not one of those people that can just mask and fake it till you make it, and that's it. And um, so that it, it's having, having this obsession with the weighing really, really sucks. Um, and so that is something that I certainly struggle with. And another thing that I struggle with is um, obsessive working out. And I have actually, over the past two days, um, I have been running, and I have used my Polar, and I have tracked my runs, but I have, I am proud to say that I have not posted those runs on Facebook or Instagram. I have solely gone out and done those runs just for me. And this is a big deal um, for me. And I think that this is a, a step in a positive direction because I, I don't know who I was competing with, but it felt like a competition because in 
the blogging world, um, every single blogger out there is constantly posting their workouts and what they're doing. And I don't run as far as 90% of those other bloggers. And, you know, the maybe that's who I'm competing with, you know, drawing readers to my blog and so on and so forth. And it's just dumb and it's silly and I don't have time and I don't want to do it anymore. And it's not worth it to me. And so... Um, and I'm not going to do it anymore. So I urge you to, you know, step in that direction with me. And if you're, you know, obsessed with working out and you're posting it and you're seeing other people post their workouts and you're seeing them burn, you know, calories and you're like, why can't I burn as many and so on and so forth, you do have to remember that body mass and size, you know, definitely play plays a huge role into it and that people's bodies do burn, you know, differently. Like you and I could go to the same class and you could burn six or 700 calories and I could only burn a couple hundred. Then we could go to a completely different class and we could be flip-flopped and I could burn six or 700 and you could only burn a couple hundred. So please, please, please remember that. But when you're working out, do for you. Don't do for someone else. And that was definitely something that I was not doing. I, I was you know, running because of a number that wasn't making me happy on the scale or because I was seeing other people running and they were running four or five and six miles and I was only running two and I was forcing myself to run farther than I really could or really wanted to or, or, or than my body was physically able to that day because I had already worked out or lifted weights or, or whatever and it's just ridiculous and it's stupid and on the inside as I'm running and I'm physically not able to run anymore, my inner fat girl is like, oh, fatty, better keep running. You feel that jiggle? Look at those thighs. You feel that butt moving? Oh, look at that stomach. Feel that? That's disgusting. And that's how I talk to myself when I run. That's literally how I talk to myself is, oh, the other moms at Zachary School aren't fat like you. That's how I talk to myself. That's how my fat girl operates. And that's not cool. So this is just a little taste of how my inner fat girl operates. And um, now that I've rambled on for almost 13 minutes, I'm going to stop. Um, and I hope that you um, will tune back in. And um, I hope that this series will, um, will help you guys. And I look forward to comments and questions, and I want you to email me with things that you would like to chat about. And for those of you who are tuning in and um, found uh, found me through the Petarudi Center and um, the wonderful team over there um, who have helped me get back on track and um, were big, big cheerleaders um, and supported me from day one when I said that I wanted to um, start this series um, they, they were my biggest fans and said, yes, definitely. You need to, you need to get this out. You need to talk about this. And if it wasn't for Dr. Stephen Pederuti and the team over at the Pederuti Center, I would not be back on my weight loss track. And despite my unhealthy obsession with weighing myself, um, I wouldn't be, um, seeing the scale move in a downward motion if it wasn't for them and the fact that they've been able to um, seek out what was medically hindering my body from, um, you know, losing weight and how one person could go from losing 100 pounds from 2008 to 2009 and gain 40 pounds back from... 2000, you know, late 2011 to 2013, you know, is, is just mind boggling. Dr. Petteruti and his team are absolutely amazing. And if you're in the Rhode Island area, I definitely urge you to give them a call. They treat each person individually. They understand that what you're struggling with um, is definitely not the same as what I'm struggling with and what the next person is struggling with. They treat each individual um, just as that, as an individual. So if you're struggling with your weight and you don't know why you can't lose weight or you're not feeling good about yourself, um, I certainly urge you to give them a call and, and allow them to cheer you on. 
Um, and if you need that information, you can certainly get in touch with me uh, via Facebook at Girl Gone Healthy. Um, you can email me at girlgonehealthy at gmail.com. And for those of you um, who, like I said, have been with me from the beginning, I thank you and I look forward to hearing your feedback. And that's it. This is the first video. And I cried straight out the gate. Imagine that. So it wasn't so bad, right? Is this bad? Was it fun? So I look forward to your comments. So I'll see you next time. Thanks. This was Silencing the Fat Girl Inside.